1,100 miles east along the border in Texas, the crisis is also turning dire. Republican state lawmakers are calling on Congress to act with all means necessary. Come back from vacation. Provide funding to address the situation as hundreds of illegals flood the border there every day. Joining me now is Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Dan, Hi, Laura. Uh, Congressman yes. Castro, by the way, is saying that Washington should basically butt out. Yeah, look. It's clear that we need stronger leadership in this state to stand up when the president or anyone else in Washington tries to mess with Texas. So yeah, he's let me, addressing you, basically, there. Yeah, let me tell you what. The Texas Senate passed a resolution, as you know, a few weeks ago, calling this a crisis, calling it an emergency, telling the president to do whatever he needs to do. Laura, these people are deniers and deceivers. Either they can't face the truth or they know it, and they're deceiving the American people. I like the idea that the White House put out last week and the president put out, let's put these people who are coming across on airplanes and fly them to San Francisco, fly them to Nancy Pelosi's district, fly them to all these Democrat districts, and they're going to find out what an emergency and what a crisis it is when their constituents complain. Why should Texas, why should Arizona, why should we be the brunt of all this and have these hundreds of thousands of people crossing, uh, you know, 100,000 in one month? You know, Laura, when I was with you last week, it was the day I was with the president in Texas, and I talked about how we have found 1,671 dead bodies of women, children, elderly, where the drug cartels bring the people across the border, leave them with no water in the middle of nowhere to die. And the sex trafficking, tonight there are thousands and thousands of young women all over this country who are being forced into prostitution. We have modern-day slavery. And, and, Laura, right now, somewhere in Texas and elsewhere, there's a little girl crying because she's trapped in a cantina having sex with 20 men a day and can't get out. And somewhere else there's going to be some elderly person dying. They're crying, they're dying, they need help. And the Democrats say they care about people. They don't care about these people. Look, no, I care about American winning. lives first. Power. I care about American lives first, but it's this power. is also about these people. I wanna, it's I wanna, it's wanna, all about power. Yeah, I want to show you and play something for you. He spoke of Pelosi yes. earlier. Listen to what Pelosi said yesterday about this issue. These newcomers make America more American. Uh, this president decided to use it as a campaign tactic. And there are some financial insecurity that people have. He blamed it on trade, he blamed it on immigrants, and, um, and it, it found a market. But I don't think that's where the American people are. Well, the let American me, people, Dan, just check this out. New Fox News poll just came yeah. out. Immigration is the top issue for Americans, 21%. They know it hits their pocketbook. Economy, 10%. Health care, 9%. Climate change, sorry, Beto, 6%. Race relations, 5%. Yes. Number one issue for the country right now is immigration. That is uh, that, not surprising. Imagine if the media really reported it. Yeah, you know what, Laura, when I hear something like from soft-spoken Nancy that she seems to care, it's almost treasonous what she's doing selling out this country. And I view her as nothing more than a slave holder because she's in charge of not helping these people, these poor young girls, these poor young girls that are trapped in cantinas and bars all over this country. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are responsible for this. And I tell you what, I'm going to put out a $100,000 bounty right tonight, Laura, on your show. I will give any Democrat $10,000 to their favorite charity. Come down to Texas and go out in no man's land with me, where these cartels drop off these pregnant women, these children, these old people, and they die. Come with me, Democrat. Come from Rhode Island or come from whatever state you want to be from, where you don't have a clue about what's going yeah, on down here to Americans yeah. and people. I'll take them out. I'll give them a half a gallon of water, and I'm going to see how long they last. And they're going to realize it's a crisis. And I'll take them to a cantina where we just rounded up 59 young girls recently. And before we can help them, the drug cartel lawyer are there to spring them, and they're scared yeah, to death course. to say anything. Yeah. This well, is a this is ace, a crisis it's, it's, of it's unbelievable portion. Um, Pete Buttigieg. By, by the way, Pete Buttigieg yeah. says, "Well, we are, South Bend isn't full yeah. up. All you people saying yeah. the country's full up. South Bend's not full up. You got 102,000 people population in South Bend." This month, we're going to have 100,000 right. people, they estimate, cross the border yeah. illegally. Entire send, towns send the jet planes here. We'll, we'll take them to his town. We'll All take right. them to his town. But I'm serious, Gotta Laura. Go. Any Democrat who wants to come, 10 grand, I'll take them out no man's land. Let's right. see Got what it. they think about it then. All Thank right. you, Laura. A challenge is dropped down. Thank you, Dan.